Bob, hi, it's Rosanna. Listen, I'm over at Carly's. Something's happened to Parker. Parker, honey, wake up. I, I don't know. He just collapsed, and Parker. we keep trying to wake him up, and nothing seems to work. Parker, can you hear me, honey? It's Mommy. Thank you so much. Bob. Parker, can okay. you hear me? He's on his way. Okay. Parker! Yes! Oh yes! Hi, honey, it's me. No, don't try to sit up. Just lay back. Lie still. It's gonna be all right. It's not okay. Why? What, what happened? Are you hurt? It's Jack. What about Jack? He's not ours anymore. He belongs to someone else. Never drop your mother. <laughs> Welcome home, Mrs. Jackson. We're officially a family now. You said that right after the wedding. I know I said that right after the wedding, but I didn't bring her inside the house at that point. Now we're a doubly official. We're officially official. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Come on, son. Come on. Understand. What don't you understand, JJ? If I'm not your son, how can we be a family? Hello, everybody. Hi. 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 Is Dad and Grand with you? Ah, uh, your father had to make a house call, uh -huh. and your grandmother's running a very important errand. They'll both be here. Yeah. Kim, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous dress. Oh, thank you very much. I think I went to every store in Chicago. It took me months to find it. <laughs> Ow! <sighs> that better be my best man. <sighs> Will I do? Graham, <laughs> is everything okay? I have a gift for you, something that will... Promise your marriage every happiness and success. Allison is your sister. It didn't stop you. You're still the same. You take what you want, you damn the consequences. No, it wasn't like that. I have never been so disappointed by anyone in my whole life. It's perfect, just like you. The necklace is beautiful, but I am not perfect. You are to me. Chris would have dumped me ten times by now if it wasn't for you. You are so supportive, and you are so smart about everything. You are the best sister. I'm not. I haven't been a good sister to you, Allie, and I am so sorry. Just be happy. I will be. I am. The hell with her. Come swimming with me instead. Stay long. How's Luke? Looks fine. For a minute there, you thought I was a rose. 
Continue. We are family, honey, because we love each other. And because we live together and because we take care of each other. No, I, I, I think what JJ means is that we got to say our vows in front of the Justice of the Peace, and he didn't get to say anything during the ceremony. Honey, did that make you feel left out? No, I'm glad you guys got married and Jack sent Dad away. He made my mom cry. But now my mom has you, and... I don't really have anybody. Honey, JJ, you always have me. But what are you what are you trying to say, buddy? Will you be my dad? JJ, when I married your mom, I married you too. You're a package deal. And I got really lucky because I got an incredible wife and a very intelligent son. <laughs> That's what today meant to me. So, yeah, to answer your question, I'd be proud to be your daddy. Come here. Come here. Oh. I love you. And I love your mom. And nothing's ever going to change that. Hmm? Huh? Well, you have two eyes, two ears, and two noses. <laughs> well, you didn't break your uh, funny bone. <laughs> So everything else is all right? He doesn't have a concussion. Why did he faint? Parker, what'd you have for breakfast? Oh, there you go. Listen, you have to have a good breakfast every morning. Milk, yeah, eggs, I, cereal. Yeah, I, I made him some pancakes. Well, that's even better. He said that he wasn't hungry. Prescription, lunch. And then you take it easy for the rest of the day, OK? Why don't we at least go get a banana, huh? That's something your Aunt Rosanna can fix. <sighs> So he, he doesn't need to go to the hospital or have any tests done or anything like that? Not unless it happens again. How are you doing, Carly? Oh, I'm fine, I guess, considering. Kim told me about the broadcast and the search for Jack. You've all been under a great deal of pressure and stress the last few weeks. Sort of good news and bad news, you know. Jack's alive, but where on earth is he? Parker's really attached to Jack, isn't he? Yeah, I think in some ways he's closer to Jack than he is to Hal. Well, see if you can minimize his ups and downs. He's dealing with a lot of anxiety. That's probably why he fainted. And no food, well, that can be because of stress, too. Yeah, well, we're all under a lot of stress these days, I think. Let me know if it happens again. I will. Oh, uh, thank you so much for coming by here today of all days. And please give uh, Chris and Allison my best. Will do. Okay. You take care. So one person, you know, eats the banana and puts the banana peel on the ground and then somebody else comes along and steps on it and slips. I know, I didn't think it was really that funny either. How are you feeling? Sad. That's why I'm trying to tell him funny jokes. Why are you sad? I don't remember. What were we talking about when I woke up? It's not important. And we're not going to think about that anymore. Rose is dead. That, uh... It doesn't make sense. How, how could she be here? You were thinking about her, weren't you? No. Uh, I was thinking about how sorry I am that she died, and I, I know how much you loved her. You can't possibly imagine. So 
so I, I know how much you must have missed her all this time, and it's all because of me. But I, I just want you to know that I, I didn't try to kill her. I know. I just wanted her to cancel the wedding. I need to see Emily. Can I see Emily? She's, uh, she's not here. They left you here alone? No, Will's here with me. He's home, Lily, and he's here to stay. <laughs> oh, it's not cold. It's wet. <laughs> That's the crazy thing about water. Come on. Come in. We don't have our suits. <laughs> so? All right, I'll, I'll, I'll cover my eye. Come in. If you tell us what you were thinking about before you took off your clothes. You guys were watching? So, what were you thinking about? It doesn't matter. Because I've moved on. Why are you so sad? Because I feel like I've, I've let you down. I have let you down in so many ways. I've made so many mistakes. I've, I've been really stupid and selfish and short-sighted and it's over now. It's all over, so it's okay. All that matters is that you're happy and you're doing what you really want to do and I love you so much, Allison. And don't you think that I know that? Emily, without you, I wouldn't even be here. I've already told you how much that means to me, and that's why I'm okay that my dad's not even going to be at my own wedding. I'm sorry. What was Larry's excuse this time? I was in sort of a conference in Denver. So much for dad walking me down the aisle. And so it's all you. It's you and mom. And when I'm at the altar waiting to say my I do's, I'm going to look at you. Because I'm here. You make me feel so strong and so sure and so, so happy about everything. I love you, Emily. It's Grandpa's watch. I gave that watch to your grandfather on our wedding day. I want you to have it. Grandma, I, I love it, but I can't accept this. Okay, it should go to Dad or, or Tom. I... You're Chris's namesake. He would want you to have it. You and Grandpa had something very special, and what you shared, I mean, I'm... nobody else can hope to have that. When you truly love someone and she loves you, it's always special. You remind me of your grandfather. Oh, he was... I'd sometimes questioning things now and again, but then he'd go for a long walk and be very quiet, so quiet that he could hear the ticking of that watch. And somehow, he'd know what to do. He was always true to himself. And he looked very handsome, all dressed up, just as my grandson does. Thank you. Well, I should be on my way. I don't want to miss the bride in her finery. And Allison says her dress is to die for. You two are smart. I should have been hanging out with you. Why, what happened? There's a cat fight brewing in the vestibule. I will take my scalpel and I will carve it off you before I let you walk down the aisle in my dress. Oh, ladies, please, come on. In the greater scheme of things, how important is this? I'm the mother of the bride! Oh, Susan, for crying out loud. Be quiet. Calm down. Nobody's going to look at us anyway. They're going to look at Allison. They're going to look at Chris. Are you nuts? Look at us. They're going to look at us. Hush. And if anybody's going to wear this dress, it's going to be me. Oh, the happy family. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen this before. Matching dresses for the moms. How charming. Ladies. Oh. <laughs> this out. After the ceremony, we hit the reception. They will be toasting, they will be dining, and then they will be dancing, which is where I make my move. Uh -huh. What move is that? 
Well, I, I gave Nikki the smoky look. And I slipped the band leader a fiver. He plays Strangers in the Night. Hmm? Is that too much? Uh, it's not the most contemporary choice I've ever heard. Yeah, but like, you know, retro is romantic. It's, it's mysterious. It's perfect for a couple that's so new to one another, like she and I. I mean, think about it. She has no idea just how fantastic I really am. But after tonight... Okay, if we don't go inside, we're going to miss the reception. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Just one more question. At the end of the dance, sorry. At the end of the dance, uh, do I dip her? Okay. If she dances with you, yeah. and if the band leader plays that song, don't dip her. Lisa, pick up. You did this on purpose. You do anything to humiliate me. No, having a fight is humiliating. You stole my dress. Oh, Susan. Oh, Lisa, Lisa, it's Susan. Listen, I need your help. I, I really have an emergency. So, what do you think about us moving in together? I think it's great, mm -hmm. especially with the house getting so crowded. So. Crowded house? Will's home. Uh, Will is home? Will is in the Will who... Who poisoned Rose D'Angelo? As in the will, who is my little brother. Right, 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 right. So he's out of the um, special hospital. He's fine. Okay. The doctors say he's doing remarkably well, and the judge agreed to release him. So, um, you know what? Excuse me. For a second. Hold on. Hi. Um, I just want to thank you for signing the petition for Will's release. It was the right thing to do. Well, he's home now, and we're just, we're very grateful. So, hi, Faith. How are you? Where's your mommy? Lily is not coming. Is she still upset that Will's allowed to come home? You could say that. So do I have to get an injunction? What? Will's home less than an hour already. You're on his doorstep. Well, I would have come here if I knew he was going to be here. I need to talk to Emily. Emily's at her sister's She's not home. gonna live here. You know that. She will not let this happen. Will being here with Daniel, it is too dangerous. So, that's your plan? You're gonna break up house family. I have a plan. No, you just want Emily and Daniel to leave this house. I want Will to leave. I want him to leave. I want him to go back to a mental hospital. Have you talked to him? Have you really talked to him about how he deliberately poisoned Rose? I thought you loved her. Okay, I'm gonna pretend that I didn't hear that because I know that you're upset and I know that you're angry and, and, and I know that you loved Rose. I have a child, a son. I understand what it's like to have a healthy, normal boy. And your brother is tied up in knots. He yes, is a he mess. Is. He has to live with what he did for the rest of his life. He did something horrible and he has suffered for it literally more than you know and you will continue to suffer for it. And Rose, of all people, understood that. And she, she would know that he, he's going through something. Rose, Rose knew how to forgive. Rose is dead. She can't forgive anybody anymore. But she would never forgive the boy that killed her. She left way before we did. All right, well, just come down here. And... Oh, I'm here, I'm here. What are what? you doing in that dress? Oh, I'm trumping your mother-in-law. Don't ask. After the week I've had, I'm lucky I'm breathing. Okay, little girls, that's it. This wedding goes ahead as planned. No more surprises. Come over here, baby. Oh. I want to look at this veil. Okay. Oh. I made it. How's Will? He's settling in. Paul's with him. I... I know this is a lot to absorb, Emily, and we really haven't had a chance to talk about it. No, we haven't.
but the more I think about it, the more I think you going to your mother's with Daniel is probably a good idea, just until we, we work things out. Just know that I love you very much. As the world turns. And forsaking all others, be faithful to her for as long as you both shall live. This wedding band is the last link to your old life. My old life is over. Come on. 